today we're taking a deep dive into one of the most precise desktop 3D scanners we've tested so far, the Einscan SPV2. It's not cheap, but it delivers outstanding results for scanning smaller objects, and it's honestly the most user-friendly 3D scanner we've set up. We'll walk you through the setup, scanning process, calibration, what kind of PC you'll need to run it smoothly, and we'll show you actual results with a scan to print test. The Einscan SPV2 comes with everything you need to get started. The scanner head, a rotating turntable, tripod mount, power adapter, USB cables, and this important piece, the calibration glass plate. The build quality feels solid and professional. It's compact, desk friendly, and setup is intuitive. Everything connects quickly, and you're not left wondering where anything goes. It's a product clearly aimed at users who want precision, but also want things to work just without a steep learning curve. One of the biggest advantages here is how simple the calibration process is. The scanner comes with a calibration glass plate, and the software walks you through everything. Place the plate on the turntable, hit calibrate, and the scanner will automatically rotate and align. The whole thing takes about 2-3 to three minutes. No measuring, no guessing. Speaking about being predictable every time, let's hear about our sponsor. Introducing PCBWay.com, the online one-stop shop for all your electronic ambitions. Need circuit technology or small-run manufactured parts? PCBs, 3D prints or CNC millings in PLA, ABS or aluminium and a whole rainbow of colour options. Upload your specs, approve the design, pay and await express delivery. Fair pricing, no minimum orders and total control throughout. Contact our design team at PCBWay.com. We've tested scanners where calibration feels like trial and error. This, it's smooth and predictable every time. Once calibrated, scanning is almost completely hands-off. Just place your object on the turntable. Hit start and let the scanner do the work. The turntable rotates automatically. The scanner captures multiple angles and the software does the real-time alignment. You can do a single scan pass or multiple from different positions and the software will stitch it together. This is huge for beginners or busy creators. No need to manually reposition the object or manually align scan frames unless you really want to. We've tested quite a few 3D scanners and what really stands out with the Einscan SPV2 is the balance between performance and simplicity. Some scanners give you high quality scans but at the cost of a clunky setup or steep learning curve. Others are easier to use but sacrifice resolution or control. The SPV2 sits right in the middle. It delivers sharp, accurate scans and still keeps things beginner friendly. But let's talk about something you absolutely need to consider. And that's your PC or laptop setup. Scanning is just the first part. The real challenge is processing the scan into a mesh. For this test, I used a laptop with a Ryzen 9 7945HX processor, RTX 4090 GPU and 64 gigs of RAM. A really powerful machine. And even then, converting a full scan to a high resolution mesh took about 3 to 6 minutes per scan. So if you're on an older system, you might be looking at much longer processing times. Or worse, crashes. Plan for a good GPU, lots of RAM and a solid CPU. Otherwise, the scanner's speed won't matter much if you're bottlenecked during mesh generation. Let's move on to the real-world results. We scanned this model using the SPV2 
and then printed it using a 3D printer. The scan captured all the small features, textures, sharp angles and curves. After clean up we sliced it and sent it to the printer. And here is the final result. Honestly we're really happy with how this came out. The scanner captured more detail than we expected. And the print came out almost identical to the original. To wrap things up, the Einscan SPV2 is a scanner that delivers pro level results with a workflow that's almost entirely automated. The calibration is easy, the scans are clean, the software is pretty intuitive, just be ready with a strong computer to support it. We're just getting started with this scanner. There are so many more features to explore. Multi-part scanning, full color texture options, advanced editing, and we'll cover that in another video soon. We're also planning to put the SPV2 head to head with the Riverpoint Miraco to see which scanner gives us the best results in different conditions. If you're thinking of getting into 3D scanning, especially for smaller models or design work, this is a scanner we can confidently recommend. Let us know in the comments, would you go with the SPV2 or something like the Miraco? And what objects would you love to scan? Make sure to like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our deep dive or that scanner showdown. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!